In this video, you'll see a live demonstration on an actual human. You'll need cotton swabs with a disinfecting agent and a syringe with lure lock, which allows secure attachment to the tubing. Since you'll be using relatively high pressure when flushing, your tubing is filled with saline or lidocaine as per your local protocol. There are several sites where you can establish intraosseous access, including the humerus, but today we'll focus on the tibial entry point. To locate the insertion site on the tibia, start at the patella and follow its tendon down to its insertion point. You'll notice a bump, the tibial tuberosity. Two finger widths below and two finger widths medially to that bump, you'll find a relatively flat area on the tibia. That is where you are going to drill straight down. Before proceeding, make sure to clean the area thoroughly. The needle is magnetically secured to the drill. Remove the protective cap and you'll see two black centimeter markings. The last one, the five millimeter mark, must remain visible when the needle is inserted through the skin and rests on the tibia. This ensures that you're going deep enough. If you can't see that mark, switch to a longer needle. Attach the needle magnetically and remove the protective cap. Push the needle down through the skin until you hit the bone and then start drilling. Firm but controlled. You know you've entered the intraosseous cavity when you feel a decrease in resistance. Once you're through, remove the stylet and secure it to the safety box. Securing the IO needle with tape is crucial before attaching the IV line. Attempt to aspirate, you should see bone marrow return, confirming the correct placement. The next step is to flush with the syringe with relatively high pressure until you feel a loss of resistance. This flushing opens up the intraosseous cavity, making infusion easier. However, if you're going to infuse IV fluids, you'll still need a pressure bag. This initial high pressure flushing is often considered the most painful part of the procedure. Therefore, using local anesthetics according to your local protocol is recommended in patients who are responsive to pain. When it's time to remove the IO needle, you'll need a 10 milliliter syringe with a lure lock. Detach the infusion tubing, remove the securing tape and attach the lure lock to the IO needle with a smooth clockwise motion. Then steadily pull to remove it. To continue your journey with us and to deepen your medical knowledge, watch one of the videos on the screen now.